the next one is called Neenix Cosmic Warfare. It's it's a very odd title. Uh but yeah. Neenix. Which if you consider it a German word, if you split it in half, it's never nothing. <laughs> Oh no, it's did I did I forget to change the category? It was supposed to say Eastern Exorcist. Deliverance and Rain was before. I hope I didn't forget to change the category. That would have been a pity. No, this was Eastern Exorcist, obviously. Uh it, because that's exactly what we did. Deliverance and Rain is a card game. It's two card games in one package, which also is a bit of a copy paste of uh, other games. So be, be a bit careful about that one. I'm not sure if it's going to stay on Steam very long. Um, so next up, Neenix Cosmic War is a game that I stumbled upon by browsing demos. For what it's worth, that doesn't happen too often. That I get stuck on. Uh... Yeah, but I do. I do. Uh, I I am to blame sometimes for not, you know, switching back the categories. But it's it, now it should say Nenix as the category. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Then it probably was me, uh, not updating it. Content is loading. One, t one hour maximum for our last game today. I'm curious about this one. I hope it's going to be a bit like uh, Space Pirates and Zombies, but different without the zombies, maybe. Uh, we'll see. A learning I have passed since the Great Interstellar War began. I have no idea why I'm reading it like this. Uh, ooh, Interstellar War. <laughs> Some believe that it was the pirates of the Vagrantis Union who started it. The vagrants? Others blame the industrial Axiom Empire who's lust for power, who lust for power above all else. Or the end swarms of the Zinthru Hive that seek to devour the entire cosmos. <gasps> Laser beams? No matter, no one even remembers why the war started. It has become the normal way of life. What? Some profit from the war by participating in the ever-expanding trade of weapons and items of mass destruction. Plot. Most, however, struggle for survival and hope that the war will someday end. Across the ages, many have turned to ancient myths of a legendary artifact of great power that could turn the tide of the war and bring the stalemate to an end. This is in Elder Scrolls Online. It is said that this artifact was created by the Titans, the original... This is completely skippable. Uh, just don't put a plot in there. Just say there's war in the universe, these other factions go shoot stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Things that go boom. Insta-kill. High caliber rounds, melt your enemies, heal your allies, freeze your foes. <laughs> that unexpected. Uh, we are going to be the sin to hive. Total item level 7, ship item level 3, passive Azuri item level 0. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Because I have no idea how this plays. System online. Ah, okay. That's... Boost! <sighs> okay, that's one... There was, a, there was a spot where we could change the steering. 
Now you can you can have a steering where a W always goes towards the cursor. But I think this absolute steering is quite good. For now. Open the container by pressing in track button. Okay. Access granted. And a sensor. Ooh. Hold left alt for details. Click left alt for modal. Modal. Has controller support, obviously. Uh, increases your field of view. Plus 788 kilometer sensor range. It weighs two tons. It costs uh, stuff. All right, it's passive. These are active slots, okay. There's an auto activation button. Second tab. You can switch between two ship configurations. Oh, limited. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. I mean, that's our slime cannons, right? We are the soothed hive. A strong ignite beam. Okay. This weapon is used to blow things up. <laughs> Generates an area for the equipment one of your active slots, Mark Green. Heal. Hmm. Left, right, center. Yeah, okay, works. For our fallen comrades. That's our weapon over here. An uncommon engine. The engine increases your speed. Right, and there's a loot filter, right? Uber. Mythical. Okay. Is, is this a top-down space RPG? ARPG. So that's our current engine. Yeah. Alt pressing alt gives you a comparison. Holding alt gives you a comparison as well. Okay, that's a boost, all right. ceiling yeah there's a plot we just made it we can zoom in as well All right here uh uh 
Now in defect seem a bit loud, right? That you eye and whatnot. So we've got uh this. Oh we still have the the tutorial weapons. This is better. I c oh, I can add it into another passage slot on top. Okay. The default key for interacting is F. Mission lock contains active and completed. Arrows point towards stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Not worth it. Okay, so your maximum zoom out level is defined by the sensors. Oh shit. hopefully there are more enemies Repair module. No, we can't destroy that. Ooh, what's this? All module. Oh, nice. I give up some sensor range for um, the damage resistance. Another repair module. So now we've got two. That's all right. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Shield's gone. Rocket trap. Oh, it's like space pirates and zombies, but different. I'd say better. Ah, different. That's the Get to the different. Oh crap. Level up. The sound effects could be better, of course. after we escape. Oh no, more enemies. There we go. Weapons. Oh. Right there, 
we good. Heavy starship, powerful weapon. Oh, Ooh, hello. Uh, I'm just visiting. Beam is uh, making me very slow, but it's it's good. Onyxia. A light cruiser. Cannon. Out. Okay. Yeah, so this story is something that I don't currently need, but it's maybe not so bad. I don't know. That cannon is awesome. A bit more of a precision based weapon. <laughs> Boom. Reach Outpost Reginald. I'm kind of having a hard time to read all the story exposition up there while trying to not die from enemy attacks. <laughs> not sure how that's supposed to work, but at least that way we don't have to stop and read all the things. We can uh, not read them. What's that? Transmuters, yeah, okay. So this text that pops up in the middle of the screen, it should pop up elsewhere. <laughs> like, not in the middle of the screen, maybe. Boom. Annihilated. Oh, we still got turrets here. Oh, yeah. This item can summon a personal army. Should try to enable the loot filter, maybe. Right? We don't pick up everything. But I'm so curious about everything, really. So. <laughs> Maximum sensor range. Who's Reginald? Who's? Oh, asteroids. Okay, fair enough. Base clouds. Friend or foe? Friend. Dog. I think this is a kind of cool thing. It could do with a spruced up sound design, but. It's it's a top down space space RPG A A RPG. The hell is this? A legendary thing can be used at the Continuum Transmuter. Converts all applicable player and ship turret bonuses to drone bonuses for an item. Oh, okay. I'm interested in what the hell this is. Hold Alt to identify. 
a Vagrantis Frigate T3. It's a light cruiser, epic four, and it has a diameter of 251 meters. Can we just change our ship? <laughs> no! Yes! <laughs> Look at that! Wow! That is huge. Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so what else do we have? We've got a, that's our st a clumsy frigate. A Vagrantis fighter. And our our equipment keeps, uh, keeps, is A is visible, right? You, you see them on the ship. Maybe I want the the forward thrust and not the absolute control setup. There, there are three options that you have. Uh, if you go the control here, steering A, up is up. Up steers towards the crosshair. Pressing left or right rotates the ship. I wouldn't do C. Let's try B. There's a flight assist that you can turn on and off. You can have the camera follow or not. Uh, free mouse aim or locked arm is possible and then centered or not. That's pretty good. So this way it always accelerates like backwards forwards, but it turns with the mouse. I think this, this is the ideal control for this kind of game that's how space pirates versus zombies works highlight items that match the filter right uh if i switch back to the big ass super ship they, they, the first thing I notice is that they don't have more slots. They, these are turrets. No. Automatic boosting. All right. This here, this this mid mid screen display. I, if you ask me, it should be further up. Miss missiles. Um, missiles and the screamer. Auto fire on the screamer, and then we've got an engine that gives us extra fire damage. And more hull and a bit more acceleration. I don't really care about the fire damage, but the drone damage is something we're not using at the moment. This provides passive bonuses. Uh, war plus. Okay. And the weapon background colors are uh, damage type. Energy, corrosive, fire, ballistic. So if we take two fire weapons, we actually get the 8.5% extra damage. That's good. But I did expect the big ship to have more. Uh, 
or auto fire in this case means it just fires when it's charged uh all right um so where no i have an insect oh okay skill points uh each of the factions has its own skill tree we can have two skill point configurations as well we started as the zin zinthu Corrosive damage. Drones. The founders. The armor men transformer, okay. I'm going to put a point in here. What plasma is being restored? Press the right mouse button to set this as focused. This focus skill can be toggled. The passive skill, anyway. Turret effectiveness. Okay. Oh, these are turrets. Oh, I didn't see that earlier. We, yeah. Um, so the big cruiser has two turrets, which you can put weapons on that you have. So we're going to put two Zintu. Smashies up there. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh. No. We are going to find the Nenex, okay. <sighs> Maximum warp. Oh, asteroids. Crash into those, right? Yeah, we do. Oh, frigate battle! missiles we win okay the turrets are all to fire standard <clears throat> you know what i love this this is great you have so much freedom to do completely silly things and they they achieved uh <clears throat> something really cool with little resources like the graphics are nothing to write home about and the sound effects are barely holding together what the hell is that can we cars and ships this on the way i kind of want to have um Uh, automatic loot pickup for everything, but maybe that's a possibility as well. Oh, there's another bigger cruiser. My turrets are very eager. Ah, oh, that missile is good. Epic space battles away. Okay, can I turn the turrets? Configure hull. Hmm. I kind of want to have a button for a turret auto fire. Uh, highlight items. Shoot left, right, boost. 
Okay, interact. Talk on radio. This has multiplayer also. Uh, that's maybe more important to, to tell you guys. This has multiplayer. You can create a game, invite friends and go. Like what? And this is just the demo. Um, right, we gotta launch our fighter. Like so. Yeah, maybe. When you get close up, you see the the simplicity of the graphics, a bit exaggerated. But you need you need some sensor range to zoom out far enough so you can actually see what's going on. <coughs> oh boy! Yeah, maybe the laser is a bit of a clumsy weapon against small fighters, but it's. It is powerful. So we've we've got four nice. We've got four uh, specific enemies that we need to kill. I want to see how the drones work. Provides passive bonuses, corrosive drone damage, carpet strike. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Right there, our first fairy god. Warheads activate. Oh, shit. Are we on a counter? Are we on a timer? I mean. So we already had kamikaze uh, drones. Okay, this carpet rocket launcher is amazing. But yeah, I should. Oops, I should probably start um, filtering the loot. So if you don't if you don't mind the graphics, this is good fun. I really like it. <laughs> it's a typical Nemo game. I mean it's an ARPG. That's that's not the reason why it's a typical Nemo game. Go get him. Ooh, okay. Thunder engine. Oh. That probably was a trap. What's this? A turret. Summons one or more drones. Ah. Uh, so drone weapons are called generators. 
Fair point. Fair point. Um. Uh. <laughs> I mean, there there are levels on the on the lower part currently. Path of Exile. I'm not really interested into in that in the, at the moment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're you're correct. You are correct. Uh, sort the items by pipe. Oh, in that order. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, we don't want to see common stuff anymore. Loot filter is enabled. Loot that is skipped due to the filters recycled. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> All loot is picked up on collision. Area loot. Area loot. Area loot. Oh. What? And then there's... There's a loot filter for Continuum Engines Auxiliary Weapons. Okay. No, I have not. I have not been playing it in a while. Um, the reason was that the uh, frequency of, up of updates that Devon puts out is just insane. And I cannot keep up with that. Um, I'm going to put it on the next randomizer. Uh, next week the wife's uh, out of town. So I will have uh, way too much time on my hand. And um, we'll do a randomizer. Um, the randomizer works... Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, I have it somewhere here. Uh, so the randomizer is when we pick up um, a few of, of these survivor style games and I start with three lives and every time I end run successfully or get killed, I lose one of those lives. Um, I think I called it runs for the sake of making it easier, right? So I have three runs. Every time I finish a run for whatever reason, it gets subtracted from the total number and the viewers can add runs so I can play or longer and I switch games every now and then and I'm gonna put striving in the next one in the next rotation um oh yeah that that I think that's a good plan changed quite a bit right yeah 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 and the race weekend is on at the moment so there's that awesome this year this is good I I wish it would be a bit you know, a bit better looking, a Wii fragment. Creates a random rare weapon based on your skills. Uh-huh. Right, and if I drop this, so, you know, I, is there a quick drop button? No. I'm just gonna put all the common stuff out here. And because we have the loot filter active now, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure if I understood the loot filtering completely. In general, we filter common stuff. And I have set the... To, to, okay. Yeah, now I picked it all up. <laughs> yeah, so I think... Oh no. Wait, ships? Engines, auxiliary, weapons, continuum. Um, so if I set the general one and tick all these boxes, that probably means it does what I want it to. Search. Wow. This is a super impressive filter system. 
I just haven't figured out. No, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again. Yeah. Okay. So I I set this to active, and th these are engines, right? So uh, if I put these out there. They should be recycled and not picked up, including this and that, and this, and also some of the uh, scanners. Yeah. Okay. That was the that was the difference. Uh, I didn't I didn't take these boxes. Right. So now this is our maximum scanner range. That's good. And I want to see the drones in action. Uh, we can check out the frigate. Uh, with a drone on. Uh, oh, that's an active. But it doesn't go there. repair thing right yeah, 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 yeah um right so this is now active auxiliary so i would have to put it in the active slot um let's go to station level two with our big ship That's a drone. Yay! Another drone. Okay. Ah, uh, but they're stationary. Whoops. Yeah, it's called a clumsy frigate for a reason. Um, let's quickly get back into our tiny fighter. <laughs> This thing's breaking apart, right? Okay, that's a bit of uh, opposition there. My drones are shooting though! Yay! Like the drones. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm having way too fun, too much fun with this. Um, it looks like it's from 1998, <laughs> but it does so many smart things, and I am just a sucker for lots of loot. Yes, that's what I have to admit. Oh, uh, okay, that, that made a big move. Play some drones here. Hey, DB, welcome! Game's, game's fun. Game's great. We had quite some cool ones today. Very happy with that. Good to see you, DB. Hope you're well. We're in, in, in space combat here, it's, it's pretty much, we're in a danger zone. Danger zone! <laughs> Is that still active, that command? Oh god. And it's, you know, it's been, ah, it's been active forever. Boom. Oh, you did the request thingy. <laughs> totally got me. 
poop here. Can't see a thing. Those are just turret stations for it. A Grantis destroyer. I'm gonna drop uh, two drones here. Go kill him. Bombs away. I feel like a, vo uh, a Vorlon ship with the beam. Right? Babylon 5? Systems. Pew, 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 pew. Let's get out of that death trap. Okay. Uh oh. So the enemies are not the smartest, right? That's what I'm realizing now. Big shit. I just put the randomizer rules on the screen to explain what, what the randomizer is because I'm going to do one next week. <laughs> no! Shit, shit, shit. Drones, save my butt. Fire all batteries. <laughs> thing that they don't have powerful weapons because then we'll be dead. Oh that was a good one. Get them all finally. What are you? T4 Oh the Nani was that. We've got one of those fragments. Nemix Cosmic Warfare. This is the demo. You can also play multiplayer. <laughs> it's just nuts. This has a ton of poten potential. Oh, so good. Nemix Cosmic Warfare. Check out the demo. It's great. <laughs> 